Anchors away. That is a prophecy that was delivered by Bill Yant. God is going to be replacing unreliable news sources with reliable ones that he has established. This is very encouraging. You're you're seeing the shift, but you're going to see a major shift take place. As a matter of fact, here's the details. Check it out. Very exciting Exciting day. But but like Rick Joyner said in an earlier program, of Morning Star Ministries, this is just the beginning. We got to yeah. begin to pray. A lot of work. To we got to begin to support those in leadership, and it's going to be a process mm-hmm. of, of of turning things around. And I'm excited about a full House of Representatives, this conservative Senate majority that is uh, conservative, executive branch which is conservative, and a Supreme Court judge is about to be put on all three on branches. All three branches. So we're very excited about mm-hmm. that. So God, understand. You saw what happened in the news. I mean, if you don't know, it was it was it was sad. And what's really sad is they don't know how sad it was. They think they're the only party in town, and they don't realize that you know there's 300 and some odd million people in America, and mm-hmm. they didn't agree with that handful of people that runs uh, the uh, different media sources. But you know what? Bill Yant, right? Mm-hmm. Bill Yant gave a prophetic word, and I want you to read this word because he talked specifically about this day was going to happen. Steve, can you read yes. that for us? He says, news anchors will be shaken as they report perilous upcoming world events. Some will be shaken overboard. Anchors away. I heard the father say, I will So he's be- talking about press. Yes. These very people we yes. watch on the news who got all this stuff wrong, who tried to tell us all the things that weren't true. This is what God said prophetically about him. Go ahead. I heard the father say, I will begin to shake the news media through the perilous events coming upon the earth. As news anchors are sent to certain locations where devastations and dangerous conditions emerge, there will be those news stations whose anchors will not be able to withstand the stress and pressure of reporting horrendous news day after day. The word anchor means something that provides stability or security, like an anchor of a ship in the midst of a raging storm. The calmness and stability that we have seen up until now in our news anchors is about to be highly tested, which we are seeing. Oh, yeah. I sense that what is about to be reported in the very near future will make the bad news of yesterday seem as nothing compared to what is about to follow. I will begin to promote unknown anchormen and anchorwomen into national media who have an anchor that holds and grips the solid rock. I saw several known anchormen and anchorwomen shaken to the core of their being as they became weary and and unable to cope with the stress of their jobs day to day, which we've seen them literally fall out of their chairs. Oh yeah. I heard the Spirit say, anchors away. The Lord then took me to the book of Acts in chapter 27, verses 22 through 24, to a life-threatening storm where an anchor man named Apostle Paul had received a late breaking news report. Fear not, I have good news in the midst of the bad news. I am with you in the midst of the raging storm. Because of you, I will spare the lives of others on your ship News broadcasting stations will give way to news anchors who are being hosted up from deep waters by the hand of the Lord to be brought on board the battered ships on the sea of life. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Isaiah 33, 6. He continues to say, These anchormen and anchor women will come forth from deep waters of the unknown. They will not only report the perilous news, but will have the treasures and riches of Christ inside of them so that the anointing of God will come right through the radio and television screens as people become convicted by their radiant countenance and peace in the midst of chaos. These anointed news anchors will become spectacles to the world as they are given favor to report of the hope within them. Some upcoming anointed news anchors will be given words of knowledge on what to do to avoid danger and disease, and they report the news before the news actually takes place. The favor of the Lord will increase upon these hand-picked vessels because of their accuracy in reporting the news before the news actually spreads throughout broadcasting stations, bringing the fear of the Lord and salvation into many lives. Many will kneel before their televisions receiving Jesus Christ into their lives with healings and miracles following. Some news anchors will be tagged with Bible names such as Anchorman Daniel or Elijah and Anchorwoman Deborah who speak with such authority that they will predict weather patterns and at times change them. We must pray for those who are now connected in the news media. A great shaking is coming upon them. 
Let's pray that they will be shaken into the kingdom through what is happening on the earth and pray for the promotion of those whom God is bringing into report, his perspective upon these world events. When it isn't making any sense down here, it is up there. We're seeing it take wow, place. Very we're seeing that take place. Pull up this other word too, right? God's yeah. plan. That uh, where Rick Joyner's talking about it. So we're looking at the, those words. I mean, in October, God told us, told me specifically during a sabbatical, that Donald Trump would be the next president. That there would be a nice, smooth transition the way mm -hmm. President Barack Obama is handling the transition. He showed me that the moment that the president takes his hand off the Bible, that he would be working with America and working in conjunction and for for the church to be a friend like Cyrus type situation. I mean, that's that's the difference. The difference is God is one, he's the one in control. I mean, of all the things he said, he says, he calls the gospel good news. Mm -hmm. And it's the news. And God, you're seeing a distrust in men's news, but God is shifting that to men and women of integrity who hear the word of God, who just tell you what God says. Yeah. And then we watch it happen. Have we not seen that over, yes, and, over, over, and, over and over and over and over again? And it, there's even one word right here that uh, that Rick Joyner talks Joyner's. about very specifically. God's raising up a news mm -hmm. news source, right? Read mm -hmm. that. I don't think our government is telling us the truth. This is, Rick Joyner, this Morning, is Rick Joyner, Rick Joyner of Morningstar Ministries. He says, I don't think our government is telling us the truth. The CDC isn't. It's bizarre. We've got to discern the truth, what is really happening. Not only can we not count on our government for provisions, that's one of the first things that we learned at Katrina with all their good intentions and all their resources, they couldn't get it to the people, okay? I don't think we can trust them for accurate information either. We've got to have our own source of information. We need to have other reliable sources for what is going on and there are potentials for this to be developed. There are some major things going on in, Christian, in Christianity today to develop sources of information that will be trustworthy, that will be accurate, and if they are not trustworthy, they will be covered as potential, we're hearing rumors of this or whatever, but it won't be presented as news if it is just rumor. But to get accurate information, I believe the Lord is raising up people to really do that. And you're going to see the world coming to the church for information, for light. So you're looking at, you know, we were in a prayer uh, community praying and asking God, you know, what needed to be done in the season we needed to do it. And I believe it was in 2008, 2008, mm -hmm. when God spoke to us and spoke to me and said, listen, you know, you're going to be in television radio. <laughs> it's like, come again, Lord. <laughs> and uh, he said, that's the way, but you're going to have to begin to reach out to this, the form of communication. Yeah. And, and we're on every platform. God's put us on you it's know, amazing. every platform you can have made, and we're talking to the world right now, as a matter of fact, and big shout out to Missouri. We're so glad to have Missouri as part of our broadcast audience. And, uh, and know this, that God established VFN television. Mm -hmm. I mean, He established other news sources, but you're seeing why VFN TV is so important. And everything that we said and everything that we did, we always have it available to you at vfntv.com so you can go back and watch past prophetic broadcasts. You can go back and see, did God say that? Did they know it? Did God tell them before it happened? And begin to say, you know what, I can trust what I'm hearing from VFN TV because if it's not that they don't know it to be true, they're going to say it's not, they don't know it to be true. But if, they, if God has revealed it to them, God's going to tell them and they're going to tell it to you and you can bank on that when God says it. I mean, even even my own self on, on the night of election returns, my own body wanted to look around and go, There's, it's, it's, I know what God told me, but I don't know. And it happened exactly like God said, that, that President-elect Donald Trump would be the President of the United States. Just like the Speaker of the House, Mike or Paul Ryan, said that we have a plan set up. The moment he gets his hand off the Bible, he's going to hit the ground running. That's what God told me. And the third thing he told me was that the moment that the President, Barack Obama, is administer, his, his term is up, and the next president comes in, everybody's going to be freed from oppression that's been over the nation. Wow. That's exciting. I mean, it's like everybody was under this heaviness and it's going to be lifted up. I don't know how long it's going to be lifted up. I know some difficult times are coming. But understand, all that is coming to pass as we speak. And so these words are confirmed even before your eyes today. I want to encourage you, if you have not yet said, you know what, I need to quit complaining and screaming at darkness, and I need to partner with the light. I need to go to vfntv.com, and I need to become a partner. I need to 
prayer for, pray for VFN TV and the VFN Dream Center. I need to get involved and support it financially every single month. Maybe your business needs to join in and begin to put your shingle up. So you know what? I stand up for God and country and Israel in that order. And I want to be a part of mm -hmm. prophetic news, news that really means something about the day, news that you can trust. And it's because of you, partners like you, people like you that are watching and listening, that go to VFNTV.com, they click on Partner Now, and they give financially that keeps us on the air to be there. We're not begging. We're just saying, hey, this is what God's done. You want to be a part of the true news that's taking place. I want to pray for you right now. I know we're coming to a close. I want to thank you so much for being a part of our audience. We're excited about the fact that we're watching the leaders going, we're going to end abortion in the land as they're working towards it. Father God, we love you. We thank you, Lord God, that you heard the heart's cry of so many. We thank you, Lord God, that you, you saw the innocent bloodshed and you heard the, the voiceless children that didn't get a chance to even praise your name with their lips outside the womb, God. And you're turning this nation around that people thought it was stuck and it was, it was, it was, it was there and it wasn't going to move. But they thought the same way about the evil things of slavery. They actually thought it was, it was, it was, it was right and it was wrong. And so is abortion. They think it was right, but really it's wrong. And in days to come, after it gets passed and goes away, Father God, Lord, we ask you, end abortion in this land, dear God. End it, Lord God. Give them a grace and put angels behind them as they write the legislation, as they support, appoint the judges. S hold back the naysayers that would try to stop this. Let your wind blow quickly across this land and bring us to a place of alignment with heaven, God. We pray, Lord, that your kingdom would come over America, over Washington, D.C., Lord God, that the house of cards would come down, the monuments would come down, the bulldozer would go through, everything that's not of you, Father God. Let the wind blow the unrighteousness out of Washington, D.C., Lord. We pray for righteousness, Lord, once again in our nation, Father God. Lord, end abortion, sin revival, sin a third great awakening, we pray. In Jesus' name, God bless. Thank you for watching VFN TV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com.